Hey everybody, so we're talking about 2D motion practice problems. Uh, we're looking at number 9 and 13 here. Uh, it says the basketball is thrown at 12 meters per second, so there's initial velocity and angle of 60 degrees um, with horizontal. So it says what are the components of its velocity? So all it's really asking for is what are the Vx and Vy values? So here we can sketch in uh, 12 meters per second is our initial velocity, um, and that's at a 60 degree angle. So we're looking for these two sides, right? We know that Vx is our horizontal velocity. When we combine that with our Vy, our vertical velocity, uh, that together is going to give us the initial velocity and angle. So we just need to do some trig. Uh, looks like sine and cosine um, to get this all set. So if I do sine of 60 degrees on this triangle, that's going to be uh, the opposite side, Vy over hypotenuse, which is 12. So we can say, all right, that's Vy over 12 meters per second. And if we do cosine of 60, that's going to be our Vx, or our adjacent side, over hypotenuse as well. So that'll be Vx over 12 meters per second. So take a moment. You can solve for these. Uh, Vy is going to be 12 times sine of 60, and Vx will be 12 times cosine of 60. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Take a moment to do that. Hit pause. Okay, that gave me a Vy value of 10.39 uh, meters per second and a Vx of 6 meters per second. So those would have been the two velocities that you would have combined uh, 6 meters per second and 10.39 to do your Pythag to get Vi and tangent to find that angle. So this is just asking you to go the other way. All right, let's take a look at 13. This says 13, a cannon is aimed 30 degrees above the horizontal and lands 100 meters downrange. And they're looking for that initial velocity of the cannonball. So we can look here for a second. We'll just sketch the uh, downrange here, I guess. Here's our cannon. Uh, it's as good as it's gonna get right now. Uh, it's at a 30 degree angle, got it, uh, and that projectile is going to land 100 meters uh, down range. Alright, so that's what I can label on that diagram, just of what's going on. We know at the moment of launch, so if we look at the actual cannon right here, uh, it's going to launch a ball, cannonball obviously, at 30 degrees above the horizontal. So that's the direction of its initial velocity. So we also know that that initial velocity is a combination of some horizontal motion down the battlefield and up into the air here with a Vy. Okay, Okay. so let's take a look at um, our physics, what we know from physics and then what we know from trig from this vector velocity diagram. All right, so from physics, we know that that horizontal motion down the field uh, it's just going to be the distance divided by the time. So we can actually say that, hey, that's going to be 100 meters over whatever the time is. All right, we also know that Vy, um, there's some acceleration in the y direction that's going to change the y velocity over time. Uh, from a previous video, what we've done in class, we've then reduced this and said that Vy is 9.8 meters per second squared times delta t over 2. Did my voice just crack there? You know. All right, from trig, we can look at this vx and vy in terms of sine and cosine for a minute. So we can look at cosine of 30 degrees. All right, we know that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's vx over vi. Uh, we can also look at... Uh, sine of 30 degrees, which is going to be uh, Vy over Vi. All right, that's going to give us two equations. So that means our Vx here, if we solve for Vx, is Vi times cosine 30. I'm running out of room. I think I just made it. Uh, and Vy then is Vi sine of 30. Okay, so you notice we have two equations for Vx. We have this is Vx, 100 over t, and we have Vx is Vi cosine 30. 
You also have two equations for Vy, 9.8 t over 2, and Vi sine 30. All right, this is from physics and the fact that Vx is a constant velocity and Vy that we have acceleration going on. This is from trig and looking at our velocity vector diagram and just doing cosine and sine on that triangle. So two equations. Uh, we also have two unknowns. Uh, we don't know what Vi is in any of these cases, and we don't know the time. So we need to do some substitution right now. Okay, so here are the two equations again. So from Vx, physics was distance over time, 100 over t. From the trig, it was Vi cosine 30. Vy, we had 9.8 t over 2. And from trig, Vi sine 30. So we have two equations, one from the x direction, one from the y. And we have two unknowns. We don't know Vi, and we don't know t. So we need to solve an equation. Let's solve this one for Vi, and then we'll put that into Vi here into this equation. So if we solve Vx equation here for Vi, uh, we're going to get what Vi will equal 100 meters over uh, t times cosine 30, right? We divide both sides by cosine 30. Uh, here's our y relationship again. It's 9.8 delta t over 2 equals vi. But now I've got a number, uh, or an equation for it rather. Uh, it's 100 over t cosine 30. All right, and that's times sine of 30. Well, trig, there's an identity that says sine divided by cosine is tangent. So this is going to reduce to uh, 9.8 uh, times t over 2 equals 100 meters over t times tangent of 30. Now the only thing we don't know in this equation is t. So if we keep solving that, I will let you check that out. You're going to get a value of time. So please hit pause and figure out what the time is. I got a time of 3.43 seconds when I do that, okay? Now you want to find out what VI is, right? So let's substitute, put a T in, let's say maybe here, and solve for that initial velocity. Let's see, so if I do put in 3.43 seconds here for this T, and solve for VI, uh, hit pause, and solve for VI. Okay, I got a VI value here of 33.66 meters per second. So that is our initial velocity uh, of the ball out of the cannon. Again, please uh, rewind, pause, check this uh, video out again for the use of sine and cosine, or what we call those vector components, in the solution of these projectile motion problems. Uh, all right. Thank you for watching and see you in class tomorrow.